Anyway, the Jews will follow the Dajjal. Why? Because the, Dajjal, the Jews, they didn't believe that Isa alayhi salam really came. Remember, they believe that he's an imposter. Isa alayhi salam, remember in the Quran, he said the true Isa, Allah subhanahu wa lifted him. They didn't crucify him, nor they, they killed him. They killed someone else. Now the Jews who became Jews later on, they were the ones in the children of Israel who wanted to kill Isa alayhi salam. And they boasted. They said, we killed him, we killed him. That's in the Quran. And they became the Jews. And what they're saying right now is, they're saying the true Messiah is yet to come. We are waiting for him. So they didn't believe in the true Isa alayhi salam. And they didn't believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So who are they waiting for now? They're waiting for Isa to come. Guess who they're going to get? They're going to get the Dajjal. And what will he say, I am? I am Isa. You know that? But he's lying. The true Isa alayhi salam comes afterwards and he will kill the false Messiah. The Christians will follow the Dajjal. Why? Because they believe that Isa is going to come back. Alayhi salam. So do we. But they don't know about the Dajjal as we know about it. Now, the Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they also call Jesus God. Isn't that correct? They call Him God. So it's not going to be hard for the Dajjal to convince them that He is Jesus Christ. Guess what else is going to say after that? The Prophet ﷺ says, He will stay among the people in the world for 40 mornings, 40 days. The first day is as long as a year, the second day is as long as a month, the third day is as long as a week, and the rest of them normal. This hadith is in Sahih Muslim too. And he will stay for 40 days. In the beginning, he'll tell the people, I am Isa, the son of Mary. And the people start following. And they follow him because he also shows miracles. Well, that's what he calls them. He calls them miracles. But Allah gave him certain trials. For example, the Prophet ﷺ told us that he will get to a mountain, a hill. And he will order all of its treasures to come out and the treasures will be found very easily as if as if they're serving him. He will order clouds to come and unite and he will make the rain fall in lands that are that don't grow. And the people looking and go, oh wow, oh wow, he gave us crops, he gave us truly, he is the son of God maybe. Right? They start believing he's Jesus Christ. And he starts doing all these things, right? The people who don't follow him, they live in, in hardship, in misery. They're going to get hungry, they're going to get thirsty. They, it's very, very hard on them. So the rest start following him. After a few days, what does he say? He says, I am God. I am your Lord. I am God. It's not going to be hard for them to believe that he is God. They just saw all these beautiful miracles, apparently. First, he goes, I am Jesus. And the Christians already say that Jesus is God. He's part of the Trinity. It's not going to be hard. Do you understand what's happening? Now the whole world is getting prepared for that. Isn't that correct? Luxury. People now are used to luxury so much. They want things easy. We call them first world problems. They're going to follow the Dajjal very easily because it's going to give them luxury. It's going to give them, you know, all this stuff. And we now in this world today, what is happiness? You know, everyone wants to be happy, happy, happy. But the places they're looking for to be happy is materialistic. You know what materialistic means? Cars, looks, muscles, money, luxury, all that stuff, right? Social media. All that is called materialism. It doesn't make you happy. It's fake happiness. The Dajjal will come and it will give you that fake happiness. So it'll be easy for you to want it because the people start thinking this is happiness. People now also don't believe in God much. A lot of atheists are happening. So when Dajjal comes around and gives them this, that's easy for them to believe in Him, right? So you can see Prophet is warning us not to be part of that. Right now, work on yourself. 